So let's get started with the LSF first because everybody wants that shit. Nick's base take on American healthcare. And then I walk into the office and I was like, okay, I'm ready for like my swab, you know? They're like, oh, you shouldn't be here. Like you should be in the drive-thru. Like, cause they thought I had Corona. So they tested me for strep throat, right? And then I, I proved them. I brought in a test. I was like, yo, I don't have Corona. Can you figure out what the fuck is wrong with my voice or what's wrong with me? And they're like, oh, no, you have to leave. <laughs> so I don't have strep throat. I've taken two tests for Corona. I don't have Corona, but pff, doctors won't help me, you know? So I think I should just go somewhere else. Hey, if you were in Norway, you'd get the proper care you deserved. But welcome to America. Get fucked. All right. So, and then I walk into the office and I was like, okay, I'm ready for like my swab, you know? Greatest healthcare system on earth, like, baby. Oh, you shouldn't that be here. Like, place. you should be in the drive thru. Like, because they thought I had Corona. So they tested me for strep throat, right? And then I, I proved them. I brought in a test. I was like, yo, I don't have Corona. Can you figure out what the fuck is wrong with my voice or okay. what's wrong with me? America, baby, let's go. Greatest healthcare on the planet. I don't know what the fuck everyone's complaining about. People having fun in a tunnel traffic jam at Friday night. I smell. Where? This can't be America, right? This motherfucker is in a tunnel right now and he's got full service. So clearly this is not the United States Let's of America, this, okay? One. What country is this in? Because let me tell you something, folks. That shit does not happen in America. <laughs> Elbtunnel, Hamburg, Germany. Lecker Apfel, danke für deinen Sub, Alter, danke schön. Yeah, there you go. That's how we know. <laughs> Groups <laughs> concert im Schösten Elbtunnel. Danke, ja. Pokémon saves the songs IRL stream. So this is from yesterday, where uh, we went to. So yesterday, uh, we went to with uh, uh, Ray and Pokémon who are not in this. Uh, we're not in this photo, but we went to uh, get our nails done. And you guys saw that already. Okay, I got this one done with like flames and stuff. Pretty wicked. I know. It's pretty cool. And afterwards, we went uh, at holy shit, you look awful without a beard. I still fuck okay. your mom and she seems to enjoy it. So there you go. Afterwards, we went to my friend's, like, uh, uh, store, and, you know, we got Ludwig dripped out, which was fucking fun. Uh, I still think I won that drip competition, but, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. I mean, it's okay. You guys turned around and, and, uh, and advocated for the Pokey and Austin uh, drip combo, but it's all good. But uh, then we went to Yamashiro, which is this like Japanese fortress on top of the Hollywood Hills. And it's very cool. And it's like always uh, cool for events and stuff. And I had never actually been there for like regular food. And I had no idea how good it was. But um, the manager came and basically said, you can't stream here. And Ray Valkyrie and her assistant Amanda had like lined up everything and gotten like prior confirmation to be able to like be at all of those places and be able to stream at all of those places. So one of the fucking, one of the mini boss managers came up and was like, you can't do that. So then we had a problem and then Ray originally went and tried to talk to the same manager and the manager was like, no, it's not happening. 
I challenge and then Pokey you got up and was like, I'm going to fucking deal with this. And then when she got up, it was weird because like all of a sudden boss music started playing in the background. Like, I don't know where it came from, but all of a sudden it's like, oh my God. Is she gonna fucking... Is she gonna finally parry the boss? Like... So, she went over. Oh what? Oh, what? Did what? what the fuck? Who did you talk to? Okay, what did you do? Yeah, what did you say? Let's just say he's not doing the basement. I was like, out. what's your PayPal? I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um... Yeah, thank you. I think, I think there's numerous managers. And then, like, the real boss boss is actually, like, this lady chef. So I spoke to her. And she called the owner. And I showed her on her stream, like, you can't see anyone else. She was like, I just, the only issue is if you, like, see anyone at the nearby tables. And I showed it to her, and I was like, it's just us. We won't show anyone else. So she called the, the owner. And she was like, you're good. Wow. You're a nice god. Nice fucking girl boss summer, girl. Oh, oh, girl boss oh, In business, that's called Free stack. chat. Oh, no. Dodged. <laughs> Did you see that? She fucking killed the boss and then also killed Austin. Stacking when you go, okay, we gotta, we gotta connect because they just saw me completely. <laughs> Destroyed. Double homicide. Double kill. So yeah, she like, she went and she went over the fucking boss's head. And especially because, like, the manager literally was fucking dodging Valkyrie. Like, she was like, can I talk to, you know, someone over, uh, someone that ranks you then? And he was like, no. <laughs> you had to call ahead of time. So everyone just fucking, everyone just, you know, absolutely carried yesterday. And it was a lot of fun, uh, honestly. It was so much fucking fun. For context, shortly after they got on the table, manager, someone higher up came and asked if they had permission to stream. Raised his assistant had called and asked for permission. Uh, they had a private nail salon session for an hour. That guy, the guy and her assistant talked to, claimed he only gave permission to take pictures, and Pokey tried and got it solved. Yeah. Ruthless businesswoman, dude. Stop polishing your nails. That is weird. What do you mean? Yeah, Pokey fucking girl bossed it big time, dude. She literally wanted to have the camera at all times. So I was like, all right, sure. Um, she, uh, she paid for everyone's nails at the salon, which was crazy. Everything was great until Ludwig decided to, you know, throw the fucking sushi. The beautiful, delicious, like, raw fish that is exclusively made for raw consumption onto the goddamn fucking slab of rock that was supposedly... Exclusively for the, uh, for the Wagyu. That was awful. It does not justify him being an asshole. He was just looking for a reason to fuck them over like every power tripping middle manager. I mean, yeah, literally that, that is what happened. Probably got a bunch of phone calls like all the other places that went. They really can't blame them for being annoyed. Literally stopping customers from booking actual reservations. Okay, first of all. This is my favorite type of live streamer uh, because, like, when we call, we literally fucking... When we, when we call, we actually tell them ahead of time, like, hey, there's going to be calls and stuff, potentially, you know, and, and get prior... We get prior fucking... Uh, uh, you know, we, we let people know ahead of time. And get prior confirmation. I'd be annoyed as fuck if it came to a place I was eating and it loudly clapped for a camera during a meal. IRL stream is so cancer to me, but I'm all so old. But what do I know? We actually fucking went to like a, it's a massive restaurant and we went to like a far corner of the restaurant. Imagine Asan trying to achieve this dude. No one's even on camera, dude. Yeah, I would have just kept doing it. Why is Raj we wearing nail polish? They think it's funny, washed up boomer humor. Cool, I get to watch random people I don't eat. How much do big streamers tip in a situation like this? Like anything less than 100% tip seems kind of bad. They are rich, rich. You are subjecting your service to be on stream to be while streaming. The dinner, you're making more money than your service. 
sometimes even more money than the whole restaurant. So optically, a low tip is not like paying your editor. They can write the dinner off right. My man, you need to learn how to write a dinner like right. 100% tip. <laughs> the streamer's incomes comes from a generous people tipping, so it'll be a little problematic. Hassan tip 22%, which is $380. That dude was fucking stoked in that situation. He thinks it's a tax write-off? I can't? Yeah, I know. I mean, you guys were just talking. There were louder people there. People act like you wouldn't be talking loudly in a group clapping and laughing without cameras. Very normal. You missed this? Oh, this is so romantic. <laughs> You and Hassan should kiss. I know we should. <laughs> oh, that's what I missed yesterday. What? What happened? Dude, look at how... Dude, the fisheye lens is not... Chat is hypercritical about literally everything. I know. Having a good time is apparently cringe. Okay. I look wide because of the fish islands. Okay. I'm not that wide. I'm not that wide. I'm not that wide in real life. Okay. It's just, where's Austin looking before they fist bump? Bravo pokey. Uh, the right way to do IRL in this type of environment. Wonder why others couldn't do the same. Where is the fail? Where is the fail? The media absolutely destroys Happy Coach S fan. Coach Coach, question here from the magazine Cowboys and Cowgirls. With Go the ahead. amazing recovery Coach Weird has had with his hands, does the team have the funding to perhaps get new hands for their receivers? Okay, Ashley from <laughs> Ashley Furniture here. Couch. Would you like to comment on the rumors that the team's continued poor performance is due to declining team morale from your resistance to taking the players out for ice cream? No, that literally has nothing to do with anything. But also, Ashley, I will probably be seeing Coach, you soon because I need DB to purge Madness a new house. Point one news. I've been watching Russian dash cam videos on YouTube for about two <laughs> weeks straight and was scared I was desensitized to gore and death. But you proved I am still no. human today because what I saw traumatized me. <laughs> hey, Coach. Thanks for throwing the game. That guy put a lot of money down on the win and we got Listen. him. Hot Chubby so close yet so far. Hassan, you and Lobo have such a chill energy together. You should IRL often, but just do simple daily stuff. He's very easygoing. You were chill with him. You guys are entertaining even when you're not trying. You two make a good team. I love Ludwig. I, I mean, I love all the people that I stream with. Uh, they were all fucking awesome. Uh, I try to hang out with I try to hang out with Ludwig uh, off camera too, but he's just like you know he's like nah, dude, sorry. You know this this bussy ain't for sale, dude. He's like sorry. I know I'm thick, okay. Wait, what happened to her legs? Where are her legs, dude? Uh, what is this thing? Try. He's got a girlfriend. Yeah, I'm not trying to fuck him. I just want to like hang out with uh, hang out with him, and I, I love Cutie too. I would I would uh, hang out with her too. Yeah, he works. Ah! What is happening here, dude? No. She's trying to fit inside of a balloon. Why? Ice Poseidon's ex cameraman sister shows up on Tyler One's brother's friend stream. Yeah. Dude, everyone. Dude, one day Obama is going to go through that door, okay? The people that come in through that door You're here. is just. You never know. With clothes on. I am. Multiple clothes on. I think. We also have my sweatshirt on. Yeah, you have my sweatshirt on. She's here after all these years. You finally made it. Yes. Welcome back. Thanks. Hi. 
nine months of fun. Ludwig explains what cussy is to Pokey in a nail salon. So I love Miss Gift Sister. Oh, you know the movie Cars, right? Yeah. And you know how there's baby cars? Baby cars? Yeah, they have baby cars in the movie Cars. Like it's just a small car? Like a small car okay. that grows bigger. Yes. Now, when a, when a boy car loves a girl car, they yeah. make a baby car. The way uh, they're looking at you right now. Uh-huh. When a girl car... Okay, yeah. To do that, they're all looking at me. Uh, they need a... They need a cussie. They need a... Wow. The cussies were the car... Dude, see, he's an amateur. Like, I wanted, I wanted someone else to describe this, right? But he described it in the most amateurish, uh, amateurish fashion, okay? You gotta say, in the Disney Pixar animated movie, Cars, there are male cars and female cars, and then there are also baby cars, which means that there, this implies the existence of a cussy, i.e. a car pussy, okay? Car comes from. It's a car pussy. It's a car pussy. But I still can't imagine it. Is it like... I love that this is like taken up as like an actual fucking meme, by the way. Like this is, I, I, the degeneracy in my fucking... Love from Mexico has made. All from like a couple months ago when I posted a fucking random photo a random photo of what is this cars 3 do you have to offer it to to me what is so, what is happening here do you have to offer it to to me so okay my chat knows what this is but i love watching cars 3 and cars 3 is the first movie i did anal to so we can like watch cars 3 together or whatever Bro, who is this? Bro, th this is the girl that like uh, car TSA and car two implies that the existence of cars nine eleven. Never mind, wrong chat for this. This is the right chat I for like this. Connor eats pants. Spines. What do you mean? Yeah, it's called the twin tussy. Emily said you look like an asshole. That's a bummer. So you know the movie Cars, right? Wait, what? Oh, I shouldn't be clicking on links on fucking LSF. What am I doing? That's that girl is the girl that uh, Rice Gum that said that I was hot while she was like talking to Rice Gum, right? That's sub Caitlin. I want to I want to fucking stream with her, dude. What the hell? Excuse he tries to talk to a girl, can't do that. POV juicer on 81421. Malena, Malena, Malena. Oh my god, excuse me. Oh my god, he's bad. Oh, is it me? Oh my god, what do we do? he's bad. Malena, Malena. Emily said you look like your IG captions are too long. I would like to watch Cars with her. I've actually feels kind of man. embarrassing, but I've never seen the movie Cars. Like I I've never seen it, and I I would be willing to watch it with her. Carson does Misgifts intro. Wait, Russell, get out of the way. Let him do it. Oh, the world. Hey, stop staring at my boxes. If you're not subscribed, there's Absolutely. so many people not subscribed. You gotta subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. That was the wor worst one yet. That was terrible. Does a baby bus Wait, come Russell, from the sea? Dude, why won't Austin watch a movie with you? Explain it. What did you do? Invite your friends over to watch Cars and stream it? Cars 1 is a masterpiece, but 3 is trash. I see why she did the anal. No, I've literally never seen a single fucking frame of the movie Cars. This is the truth. What is this? The song. Okay, dude. I, my head's not that small, dude. And how small its head is.
It's not that small. Someone whispered this to me. Nice. Okay, so what can you bring to the dating show? Uh, I'm really fun. Nice. Okay, so what can you bring to the dating show? Uh, I'm really fucking gay for Hassan. <laughs> me too. Well, not gay. I, I would eat Hassan's ass any day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to peg Hassan so badly. Yeah, same. Uh, any one thing you like about me, if anything? Uh... I don't like you, actually. It's okay. Thank you for being honest. Okay, I'm doing an IRL stream with this girl. Hog is from Texas. We gotta do that. Then she live. She lives in like California somewhere, right? Discussing objectif uh, objectification. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm disgusted. Love you, Ajan. I'm so mad at that, dude. Winner of Nims. Nim versus Europe competition. Nim crutching on the the air attack. Okay. Walkie well, actually managing to avoid that. Don't think we're there getting hit though. Walkie well, not in a good spot right now. As Modsy can't keep getting away with it. Getting away with it so much, you are hoarding surplus of means of its production. Oh my workers. god! No! That's it! Nim crutching on that, that air attack. My man wore a fucking shirt and everything for it. He wore like a button up shirt. Azan wears Pokey's very normal sized backpack. Friends like a uh, you know, clothing studio. Let's go! Know. All right, let's go! Clothing let's studio. go! Like I love shop, to right? shop, like, yes. We can trip. Oh, you can give me a fit. Wait, I yeah, think it's out one place. He okay. can finally change his shirt. Give okay, me fit and his shirt. It does look funny in the back. It does look comedic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be. Friends like, uh... Okay, first of all... Yes. I, it just, it just looks small on me. The bag is really small, okay? It's the fisheye lens and the fact that... Ludwig still wearing his Keep Austin Weird shirt. Definitely needs a fit. Azan Swag is hitting uncharted territories here. Other than the bag, the rest of his fit belongs in the trash. Azan, after seeing a tie-dye shirt rolled up on one side and clown pants with a gold chain and red watch. Yo, that shit dripped, though. Holy fuck, bro. Seriously, he looks like an oversized uh, teen. To me, it looks like a person who isn't afraid to express himself uh, being criticized by someone who is. Damn. That was a great fucking take, dude. Shut your bitch ass up, pussy. Got him. Fucking own, dude. Talk shit post fit. Looks like he just pillaged the clearance section of Value One Village. Hit. The man is wearing high top trucks with shorts. Yep. LMAO. Dog. Wait, Dog. why weren't... Aren't you on MSNBC today? No, tomorrow. Also, I'm confused. Like, are you not... Are you not allowed to... Wear high top chucks with shorts? That's so weird. Why, pe why do people get so upset? Low top chucks with shorts, high top with pants, unless you're in a punk band or something. No, you can absolutely wear fucking high tops with shorts. What? If someone not as big as you are wore your drip, they would be labeled as a cuck lord. If XQ you said that, no shot. As a matter of fact, As a matter of fact, if someone that was like XQC size was wearing that, they would look fashionable. I literally only look not as fashionable because of my size. Unfortunately, I can't today. fit into most of the stuff uh, in the way that it's supposed to. You can wear Converse with literally any outfit. These idiots don't have any personal style. Yeah, I don't really get it. I don't know why people are shitting on this outfit. Like... High tops are basketball shoes. Why wouldn't you wear them with shorts? Yeah, literally. If anything, if anything, wearing low tops with shorts is like too much leg. 
Streamers have too much money that Louis Vuitton bag costs like 1.5k. So many people have Louis Vuitton bags, lol. <laughs> True. Hassan, you made fun of my cousin. They're just treating fashion as a set of rules, not as a mode of expression. On. It just sucks because, like, it just sucks because you're a stacker, according to X. What does a stacker mean? Um,. I don't think I don't think I get away with anything. I think people shit on my style a lot. But I've always been really like the only thing I'm like insecure about is uh, the fact that yeah, body issues much? No, like literally I do. Um the the thing that I'm always insecure about is the fact that like I'm too big to I I fill out the clothes too much, so nothing really fits right. You know what I mean? I want things to like you know, Chat look big on like me, but when I do that, when I wear something that's like really big on me, people. um, then it just looks like a fucking ro I look like a Roblox character. You know what I mean? But having said that, having said that though, I, I it doesn't stop me. Like I still wear whatever the fuck I want to wear regardless. Lovick saying you move like a U-Haul is hilarious because you do. I've always said you're not fat anymore. Why do you move like you're 400 pounds even on the court? Dude, this is what I mean. It's like, this is the worst part about streaming is because like you put yourself on camera and then motherfuckers who literally do not move at all the entire day will be like, dude, you move like you're fucking 400 pounds. Like when you're on the court, it's like, dude, you've, you would die if you walked outside, you would like catch on fire because you haven't been outside. If you touched a basketball, your fingers would break. And you're over here fucking talking shit about like how I move down the court and shit. It just sucks, but it is the, um, it is what it is. <sighs> she's really smart about her money, but she's already making millions of TV one through 1.0 through stocks. Is she on, is she too in free guy? Doesn't she make twice that amount per stream? Damn, dude, people are like talking about what kind of fucking bags they own, how much money they have. Twitch chatter has an epiphany. I moved, so now your stream is in the afternoon for me. It's like kind of. It's a little too much, I think. I think that person probably has some additional problems on top of that. LMAO, you're so right, though. If a skinny person wore your fit, it would be crazy and gas like mad. It's always like that with super thin petite people. Yeah, exactly. If I wore, like,. You guys know Kai, some of you who have watched Fear and Malding, right? Uh, Kai uh, is a designer. His, uh, his brand is called Lumieres, or Lumiere. And he's on the new HBO show. He was, on my, he was on my podcast recently. Like, look at what he's wearing here, right? And he loves what I wear. He always tells me, like, he loves my fucking uh, uh, style and shit, right? But, like, if I were to wear this... If I were to wear this shit, like, everyone would be like, you look like a fucking clown. But because he has, like, the perfect, uh, because he has the, the perfect size to pull it off, it's drippy when he wears it. I almost want to, I almost want to, like, prove this by buying, like, the same clothing. buy the same clothing for both me and like someone who's normal sized but like skinnier and see how well that it looks on someone that's like skinny and lanky oh versus someone that like myself is just like boxy as fuck see here's a great example on twitch you guys have a similar look but it flies under the radar because he's twink fit yeah that's true but people literally talk about how great seer's sense of style is and if you ask Seer, he's like, yo, you and I dress very similarly. But the main difference between me and Seer is like fucking 60 pounds of muscle and also fat too. They'll tell by our uniform. How are you doing? Oh, 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 Hello. What is he? <laughs> Did you 
you miss the whites molding over the senses? No, I haven't gotten to the news yet. I've just been doing fun stuff and like LSF and shit. How much does a dinner with six of the biggest streamers cost? Look, I fucking nailed this, by the way. It was crazy. Point three hundred and thirty-three. Wide people Hassan. Yeah, I saw this. My man shaved, dude. He looks good. Or maybe he didn't. I don't know. Did he actually shave or not? Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I, I definitely lost. I lost. All right. Right. Thank you, Gold Gregory, for the five two one gift subs. So this was we all uh, we all wanted to calculate or we all wanted to speculate on how much it was going to cost, how much the food was going to cost. I said one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Valkyrie said seventeen hundred flat. Okay. Uh. Ludwig said something like 2000 like a lot of the people Austin said like $2,700 this is before this is before we get to uh you know the tip right just tax included how much would it cost and I really thought I was wrong and everybody, what everybody chose. Okay, 1700, 1750, 2236, 2721. 1850. The moment of truth. The actual bill. Drum roll. Including taxes. Is. Oh, 1726. Really? Let's go. Oh my gosh. Get fucked, everybody. Austin, you are so far off. I know I said I was going to pay for a uh, tip. <laughs> Have fun with that. How am I supposed to pay? I don't have cash. Yeah, it's guess what, dude? It's because I fucking pre-watched life, okay? That's why I knew. Because once Each again, I fucking pre-watched it. I sat around and I knew exactly what everyone was going to fucking get, and I calculated it in my head, knowing that Ludwig with his tendency to want to gamify everything, was going to want to gamify this, okay? Just kidding, I fucking totally away. nailed it uh, by sheer luck. So I assume you paid 100% in tip? No, I did not. I paid 22% tip. Which was like $348 or something. So the reason why the food was really, really expensive was because we ordered two things that were insanely expensive. One, we ordered Wagyu beef, which is like $50 an ounce. And we ordered $900 worth of it. And that was part of the reason why I wanted to pay for the meal because I literally ate most of it, okay? Like, uh, so I, I, I felt bad. Like, I literally ate the lion's share. Because I, 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 like, literally ordered an extra, uh, I think it was like 12 more ounces or 6 more ounces or something. Wagyu, Wagyu, whatever. Uh, and then also they ordered like a sushi boat or something. Overrated beef. It's literally not overrated. It is so good. The New York steak was like 50 bucks. The New York steak was like 50 bucks. The, the Wagyu beef is like literally definitionally not uh, overrated. It's overpriced. But it's not overrated. Legalized it's the greatest fucking Italian meat that's ever pants. touched my my tongue. I don't know why you paired Wagyu in New York. I it was it was dumb of me. I just I knew that I needed more protein and I needed more food, so I like ordered another steak. But the steak tastes like shit after the Wagyu. Um. So they ordered like a a fat sushi boat that was like four hundred dollars or something. $900 alone was just Wagyu. Water was really expensive too. It was like fucking 50 bucks just for the water. That should be fucking free. It was incredibly, incredibly expensive. It was incredibly expensive. Now we know you're a true socialist. You didn't even touch the sushi yacht. Yeah, because I don't fucking uh, like seafood. 
why'd you kept saying I'm gonna eat it raw every five minutes? Because it was so good. Bro, my arm, a fucking it. thigh. I'm so ripped. Yo, what up, Ludwig? How'd you split the bill? No, I just paid for it. I paid for all of it. Um, but mo but the biggest reason, one, I paid for all of it because. Okay. One, I paid for all of it because, like, you know, all these other people are, like, here. They're on my stream. I'm well. streaming it. Ask you know what I mean? I feel obligated to do something nice. I wanted to do something nice for them. Okay. Two. Um, I mean, chat literally paid for it, by the way. I didn't pay this for it. You guys did. But given me so much two. Over the past 10 months, uh, I. What, what the fuck was I going to say? Oh, my God. That's it. I just wanted to do something nice. Oh, well, also because I fucking uh, ate the most. <laughs> like, I ate, like, you know, $500 worth of beef. You know what I mean? It's, like, kind of fucked up. If I'm eating $500 worth of beef and then, like, <laughs> and then, you know, having others pay a fraction of that, I feel weird about that. You ate 4,000 calories of red meat? No, it wasn't 4,000 calories. Is that the most you've ever paid for food? Yes, 100%. Was the hot stone thing that you cooked the meat the most expensive part? Like, it's not the hot stone. It's the, it's the beef that was expensive. It was $50 an ounce, dude. Ludwig coping by saying he only ate 800 calories. Yeah, Ludwig, Ludwig is, is wrong. <sighs> I thought it was, uh, I, I thought it was less expensive uh, than I thought as well. Never spent more at a club or I guess be a promoter. You don't really pay for shit. I paid 18k for a corporate meetup dinner in Houston. Yeah, but that probably was a lot of people, right? I assume you fed a lot of people. For me, shit like that is absolutely worth it. It's absolutely fucking worth it. Especially because like you know, I'm out with friends. I'm out with friends or when I go out with my friends or when I go with my, well, out with my family, like I literally don't spend money on anything. Like, so why the fuck wouldn't I spend it on that? You know what I mean? It, it's, it's, it's silly not to. Like worth it in the sense that like paying for all of it is worth it. Not like, not necessarily fucking the food is worth it. It's not. It's so expensive. Uh, don't get me wrong. It, it's literally not worth as far as uh, how expensive it was. No food is worth $1,700. But I get to hang out with friends. I have fun. I eat delicious meats. And also it's entertaining like 50,000 people at the same time. Fuck yeah, dude. You, you see what I'm saying? Ludwig is not your friend. Stop coping. Ludwig, is this true? I'm over here telling people that we're friends. I don't know if you're in here still or if the three minutes is over. Ludwig. It's true. Ludwig told me. Sag, that's fucked up. Let's see. I'm sure there's going to be insane comments on here. Hassan pre-watched the bill. <laughs> Good one, dude. Okay. The mini, what the fuck did they eat then? The rack of 1.7k, they had 18 ounces of the Wagyu. I never had Wagyu Sag. They got 18 ounces of the Wagyu at $50 an ounce. And they got a Chef's Choice Sushi Boat. Maybe they got $750 bottle of champagne. No, we did not buy any alcohol. Dude, the, the real wild thing is going to a restaurant and not fucking getting any alcohol except for like one glass of sake, which was like $50 or something. And still hitting more than a K 1k. That's, that's actually wild. Restaurants so expensive in America. The tips required is crazy. Same meal in Europe. It'd be less than half of what you paid. Yeah, it was like 50 bucks for a glass of sake or something. What was the tip? It was like $348 in tip that that man made. I know, I know, uh, uh Chatter's... And not chatters, but like LSF commentators are saying, you know, you should have paid a thousand percent tip or something. But he seemed to be very happy with the 22% on a fucking $1,700 uh, uh, meal. And he was chill as fuck too. 
Wait, I'm confused. Prices don't seem absurd. Most of these prices are within 20 to $50. A comment above was they got 18 ounces of the Wagyu at $50 an ounce. Yeah. And $400 in Diet Coke. That menu is like a mobile game or something for small wallets and mega whales, lol. <laughs> All right, let's see what the best ones are, though. Let's see where we're... $10 water, $300 for a price of a bone. I'm staying away from LA, lol. Tell me you've never eaten at an upscale restaurant without telling me you've never eaten at an upscale restaurant. I mean, yeah. I am restaurants aren't exclusive to LA law. LA is expensive and all, but they went to a super expensive restaurant. Andy said, ha, I don't care if I get hate. This place like C tier sushi. It has good views though. They pretty much weren't raving or anything about the Wagyu. Hassan said something like, after eating the Wagyu, going back to this regular steak tastes like trash lol. Fair, it's hard in LA because there are a lot of beautiful places with shit food. Most of the good food places aren't the most scenic places, but don't get me wrong, he's right. Andy is 100% correct. 100% correct. It's like always the most beautiful views and the most beautiful restaurants have the most dog shit fucking food. And the most like bum fuck, most bum fuck like, you know, uh, back alley restaurants have the best fucking food. Imagine saying regular steak, trash, and then promoting communism. You self-absorb fake POS. You're right. You're absolutely correct. No, you're absolutely correct. Socialism is when you never uh, actually... Socialism is when you don't have taste buds and can't compare Asshole. food. And the more... The less you are able to compare food, the more socialist you are. Socialism is when, Communism is when no steak... Socialism is when steak, but uh, no comparison. That's how it works. How about them Tommy's chili cheese fries? The food review god come to Croatia, man. Hassan doesn't eat seafood. He was comparing the way to the steak he ordered. My favorite place just closed down. It was called Shunji Enya in Little Tokyo. It's pretty good. And Sushi Zo, the original one, not the downtown LA one. It's pretty good, but overpriced. New York City has way better spots, but check out Enya for now. Damn, this guy is just a fucking wealth of knowledge here. What a waste of money. This is a business expense for Hassan, which is probably half the reason he said he would pay the other half being he ate the most Wagyu. Plus, they all got their content out of it. So, for no, nothing else. If anything, they made money from that day all out together. It was also streamed on his channel. Hassan complaining about tax loopholes and then using them to buy opulent Wagyu steak dinner for cheaper LMFAO. Do these guys think that, like, I don't eat? First of all, I don't know if this is a fucking tax write-off or not. It probably is. Okay. Um, because it is happening on camera. But having said that, does he think that, like, I don't pay when I go out with my family to eat? Like, I thank for the great community. Do they the think content. that, thank like, you for all you do, you are cool. Do they think that I don't pay for everyone's meals when I go out with my friends? I'm so confused. You can hate loopholes and also not be stupid enough to just let them go when they're available. There aren't mutually exclusive positions. He's using the system that's available while Mofo have no friends and I know why. So many people are getting upset over people spending money on a nice dinner with friends. How does that change his opinion? He thinks it's a waste of money. Oh, you're right. I didn't realize my com my comment was a persuasive argument I wrote with the intention of changing the person's mind. Yeah, it's insane. I saw Dave Chappelle drive a fancy car once. Shit made me sick to my stomach. No, it's that people, especially people who are struggling poor, giving money to wealthy people and then watching them use the money and have expensive dinners and everyone's cheering on and finding it entertaining. It seems like only this person is upset at that. It's not like people are literally saying like, yeah, give me money, motherfucker. Even if you're poor, okay? I'm going to pay for this meal with that money. Especially if you're poor, actually. Like, don't fucking donate then. Why the fuck? Like, look, if you... I, I put all my shit out there for free, dog. I literally not only put all my shit out there for free. On top of that, I literally allow people to use it so they can make their own money off of that content. And motherfuckers are still like, dude, I can't believe this. Like, you forced me at gunpoint to fucking donate or subscribe to you. The only reason why you should fucking subscribe right is if you like the content and you're like, fuck yeah, I want to use the emotes. I want to fucking subscribe. I like, uh, it's worth it. It's worth the two cents an hour for me for the sheer amount of fucking sheer volume of content that I get to experience and also avoiding the ad breaks at the top of the hour. Okay. Because at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. And you can avoid the ads as well if you watch the stream long enough and you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, <laughs> add to break the flow of content, then yeah, 
you can subscribe for five dollars or you can subscribe for free if you already have an amazon prime account okay it's called twitch prime it's literally free if you have an amazon prime most people do or you can use a fucking ad block or a vpn if you don't want to do that either but twitch prime is the easiest way to do it here's the woman ad break now that's right you're a little rude Who do you think gets the money when you buy a movie ticket? It's entertainment, dude. Yeah. Average cost per person is $287. How on earth does someone spend that amount of money on dinner? It must be exotic foods, right? It's most of the most of it came from the Wagyu and the sushi boat. Reality for most socialist countries. We're gonna destroy the capitalist scum by purchasing $10 waters. Every post, even remotely by Hassan, always comes back to why are you doing X thing that socialism doesn't make any remarks about while calling yourself a socialist? Socialism is collective ownership of the means of production, not when people waste their money on expensive food. I don't see the ads. I'm not subbed and I don't have ad block. That means you're from an area where they're like not serving ads, ad inventory. They haven't sold it. It's just a little weird for people to watch others spending so much money on cam, but it, I don't know. It's content. It's not that deep. Dude, I'm willing to bet that you and T Gonzo, who have this point of view, literally never extend that to any other form of content that you consume. And that's what I mean. I have. And I talked about this before. I have a different layer of, of qualifications for what my worldview is from my own audience. You would never, you literally watch me and then you turn around and you fucking uh, bob your head to Lil Uzi Vert rapping about fucking, you know, uh, being dripped out in VLON. And you love that. And you fucking literally say that it's like sick and I love that shit. And you give your money to him that way. That's just how it is. You know what I mean? 10 months, Ty Hassy, love you, chat hassle. You literally make money off of us, whether we subscribe or not. Don't make it sound like we're leeching content by nice subbing. You'd be doing, doing this full time without any subs. I mean, here, first of all, let me just permanently ban you from the chat so you can never subscribe. Okay, there you go. Secondly, I never said that it's fucking leeching if you watch for free. I, did you just miss the part where I literally said, I provide yeah. this content for free uh, to the best of my ability exclusively because, like, you don't need to fucking subscribe. Why do people hate, hate watch? No, banned users, I'm pretty sure, can't subscribe. Yo. I love this. Save $10 on water, increase editor's pay by a total of 10, easy collab. Remember when Hassan justified not paying his editors by saying a bottom of a computer literally owns the media production, reluctant to pay his editors? Literally not true. This is like, I love this story because like, it took on legs of its own. I still have those very same editors and I still work with them every fucking day. And yeah. that story, why, is, why are people saying yo? That story literally like turned on a, it turned into a completely separate issue, like just completely made up. It's awesome. Have you considered using a captioning program to auto caption your speech live? No, but you can do that already if you want to. Uh, Google Chrome has that. Ten months, boggy woggies. Remember when Hassan's own editor got downvoted by DGG for saying he gets paid well? Yeah, and then they said that he was in a captive situation. And that's why his opinion was uh, not important in this circumstance. You can have my prime until campaign three of Critical Role starts. Everybody knows people only watch me because I spend your hard-earned dollars. Uh, like when I eat the same fucking curry chicken that I make myself when every single day. Go. At literally the same hour every single day. Uh, which comes at a cost of like $10 or, or $12 uh, an hour. 10 months sub to Hussein. Clearly not a socialist because I spent so much. Being paid 100% of the profit you generate is owning your own means of production. Well, it's not. If it's being paid 100% of you, the profit you generate, well, campaign socials get the wall. And that's all this ego egomaniac is. I knew that this was going to be good. We have homeless people out here. <sighs> Communism is when no taste buds and capitalism is when it's the top of the hour every hour. 
None of these chatters are saying the same shit to Pokemon or Valkyrie. I don't know why you get harped on so much. I know why I get fucking harped on so much. Because it has absolutely zero to do with, like, what we're doing or any sort of, like, consistency. They gave a $1,000 tip, so it's okay. Now I gave 22%, which is still good, but nowhere close to 1000 Exactly. 22% is not of a big deal. 18 to 22 is generally consult default you gratuity. You at gunpoint for this sub. <clears throat> First time subbing, baby, let's go. I think, like, there are, uh, there are a bunch of different reasons for why people get mad. It's like, uh, there are one, a bunch of different reasons why people get mad. They get mad, one, because, like, it's friends having fun on camera, and I think that's what, like, people get very upset at because they it just like if you're like a really negative person that sort of content is a reminder that like there are people out there having fun and you fucking hate that right and then the other reason is because hey, they're like i hate here. his political uh points of view and uh instead of addressing any of the things that he's pointing out i'm just gonna try to fucking you know spear dick a uh very easy hypocrisy uh argument in there that most people will probably be inclined to agree with because they also do not have a, a valid understanding of the the things that you're talking about. That's Did how you it works. Yeah, for the Iron Wait, rate him right now. Does he look good? Oh, he looks like a McDonald's employee. Let's go. Slick. Slick. Right, and then over here. Hassle. Carson confirms he's coming back soon. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with all this. He can't keep... Okay, last one, last one. People say I hate... ...as an environmental company. Oh, um, where is... Pardon? Where did Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, our... Well, the guy who's streaming, Hassan, said that his friend works here, I think. Oh. Yeah. Hassan, yeah. Oh. Can't keep getting away with it, bro. <laughs> All right, what are we gonna do to Lud, ladies? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What are we going for? We all pick out an outfit and you win. Ooh. She's super cute. I I do not. Uh, I don't know her like that. But hey, I would like to. Poggies. With the comment. This is the most azond place I've ever seen. Wait, Hazan is a friend who works at Dan Flashes. Yo, too far. <laughs> but every time Hazan gets away with it, the video quality decreases 10%. Privilege much. Hazan, Hazmaz, you can see the moment an ovary drops down and she has to shift her leg. The man doesn't lose. What the fuck? An ovary drops down. I mean, I know that's a joke, but I want to believe that that person unironically thinks that that's like how, uh, how it works for for women same union fours though how are they not freaking out about dmca apparently when you're in public you can't escape copyrighted music so it doesn't matter Naming random old clips saying they smash with none inside of her what the fuck oh it's that fucking psycho again oh my god so odd how a song glorified jihad and all of you guys still Three. simp <laughs> it's so odd how hassan glorified jihad that's my new favorite hate comment, dude. Ludwig has the moves. Uh, hey, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, okay. You clowns have no idea how to dance. Okay, Lars, show us. Lars, show us. Wait, I can't. I can't. <laughs> God damn, dude. What? Do you like this song? Uh, not really. Oh, okay, never mind. I do. What? It's what? great. It's baby Keith. I was, I was showing him the other day and he fucking hated it. I actually kind of like this song. <laughs> you just don't want to. Durag Activity was playing and I called Austin out because he like originally shit on baby Keem and then he liked it when uh, it was playing in the store and Pokey liked it. That's what I'm saying, dude. Austin is so fake. All right. I'm just kidding. I love Austin. Uh, 
Okay, let's get to the fucking news, boys. Let's like do it. Like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>